This is Motivation Monday. We are here to motivate you. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Nathan Crane. I'm Derek Crane. And this is Motivation Monday. So if you've really been into personal development or motivation or inspiration, really learning from other teachers, educators, whether it's in uh, athletics and sport or whether it's in your career, your spiritual or personal life, I know you've heard from a lot of people that, you know, when times are tough, you just got to keep pushing through it. Keep going forward, you know, get through the challenging time, get through the drudgery, don't give up, you know, keep going forever and ever until you make it. And the reality is that is true for achievement. I mean, in, in any dream, in any you know, ambition, passion, large achievement, there's gonna be down times, there's gonna be challenging times, there's gonna be times that suck, times you wanna give up. And absolutely, if you want to really achieve that goal, then you do have to just put in the grind, keep going forward, one foot in front of the other to get through it. But there are times when we need to realize that it might be time to throw in the towel. Mm. You know, and we were talking about how important to recognize that is how we both have gone through that experience multiple times of realizing like it's time to stop doing this thing or working towards this, right? So true. Like just just feeling into it, like what you're saying is throwing in the towel, is feeling the love and the passion for what you're doing. If that love and the passion is not there any longer, that's an indicator that's like, okay, this isn't for me. It's time to throw in the towel. I can, for, from a personal experience, uh, growing, up, growing up and playing football, I loved football. I had recognition through family members. I had recognition through the community. I had recognition through coaches. It was, like mo it was motivating and inspiring to be uplifted from the, all these people around me that were like, you're doing this and you're doing awesome. And that recognition was fuel. It was right. fuel and it kept driving me forward. And then just as we were talking about, I was standing on the, I was standing on the football field and I was just I was just looking looking around. I noticed a bird flying overhead and I got very very present and in tune. And I just saw how the whole entire basis of it there's nothing there's nothing wrong with football. I love I love football. I watch I watch football. I saw that the people with bigger egos were the ones that were playing. And in that moment the passion and the love and the drive was saying, I don't want to become that person. I want to become loving and caring and find passion that fuels that fire. Right. And so for me, that was an indicator to throw in the towel because it, it was an instance of truth. Yeah. Well, in football, I mean, it really all is about kill your opponent, right? Oh, yeah. Kill him, drill him, take him out. Now, I grew up playing football, so I know all about it. And it's like you also had, you know, previously started at that time a really uh, a deep spiritual journey. Yeah. So obviously that became out of alignment with this new path that, that you embarked on. Yep. You know, the spiritual kindness, oneness, loving, you yep. know, all of that. And so that became out of alignment. And that, that's a key indicator, whatever it is. That if you no longer love what you're doing, whether it's in your career, your, your business, uh, it's, it's your athletic goals, your personal goals, fitness goals. If you no longer love the journey, if you don't enjoy the process at least 70, 80 percent of the time, then that's a good indicator that you should probably think about changing career, changing focus, changing passion, changing athletic goal, whatever it might be. You know. I work out because I love it, you know, doing CrossFit, I'm training, helping other people, all that because I love it, I enjoy it, I feel good, I, you know, I run, I do trail running because I love it, I love being outside, you know, um, I ride my mountain bike, things like that, why, because I enjoy it, I'm not training to achieve this huge fitness goal because I just think once I get there I'll be happy, yeah. but we're taught that, right, mm -hmm. we're taught that since such an early age that like, if you want to be happy, you know, have this big goal, become a doctor, become a professional football player, become a lawyer, become a this, that, you know, go through college, go through the process, then you'll be happy. Yeah. 
and it's it's bullshit. <laughs> you know, excuse my language, but it is bullshit. That's the reality. That life does not work that way. And I learned. I was so fortunate to learn this. You know, years and years ago, that like you have to enjoy the journey. You have to enjoy what you're doing. If not, then what's the point? Then you're living somebody else's life, and you're living a lie, yep. right? It's like so. If you're not enjoying it, then you need to uh, figure out what it is that you do enjoy. Mm -hmm. What it is that you do love. Where is your true passion? And start working towards that. Little by little, start working towards that. You might not be able to quit your job today or quit this sport or whatever today, but you can certainly start edging out of that. You can certainly start working towards something you really love and enjoy. Um, you know, like I said, the other side of that is you're doing something you love and enjoy and you are going to have hard times. Yeah. You are going to have times where it's like you were talking about um, with me earlier, like how do you determine when just to keep pushing through, right? Yeah. When, when to determine to keep pushing through is with the love and the passion that is the root that's still there. Just like what, just like what you said. It could be struggling. It could be, it could be hard. It could feel difficult. But if the love is at the root of it, that that's the determining factor that this is part of your passion and what's beautiful is that when you start honing into that just as you're saying like a transition more into that experience of your passion what's beautiful is that the universe will say yeah this is part of it like it's like some things will just start syncing up. Synchronicities will happen. You'll start talking with people, connecting with people. Right. Suddenly this will show that, yeah, this is part of it. There will be there will be that growth. You'll feel it. You'll feel the passion. You'll feel the love that's coming through you. And the universe says, yes, we want you to feel this way. Keep doing what you're doing. Right. And then you're going to hit a wall. <laughs> <laughs> and it always happens. You know? And it's yep. like the bigger the goal, the bigger the achievement, the bigger the dream. Yep. You know, trust me. It's like I know I've been... I I've been working towards a single project for years at a time yeah. before I saw any results. So, you know, as an example, let's say you want to lose 20 pounds. Well, you might have some challenges getting there, but, you know, those challenges are not going to be as difficult as saying you want to become the CEO of a multi-million dollar company, yeah. right? Those challenges are going to be much harder, much more long term, you know, it may take years and years before you see any results and you may have to go through that drudgery. And that's where having that passion and that joy for what you do, like I said, at least 70%, maybe 80% of the time, you know, you've got to wake up and be like, yeah, I'm working towards this today. I feel good about it. Yeah, I might not get results today necessarily. It's not going to reflect immediately, but I'm going to feel good about what I'm putting into it because I know I'm working towards that ultimate dream, that ultimate goal. And trust me, you will never be fulfilled, truly fulfilled in your heart once you achieve that goal. Life does not work that way. It's, it's um, you know, we, we've been lied to with that. You will have fleeting happiness. You will have some satisfaction from that. You know, you win a championship ring, uh, you know, in a, in a professional sport. You're going to feel good about it. But all of a sudden, that feeling's going to be gone. And that's where it's so important that you go continuously back into yourself, into your love and your passion that's going to keep driving you forward. That's where it's so important to enjoy the journey every step, every day as much as you can because then when you achieve that, it's like you do feel fulfilled because you're feeling fulfilled every single day towards that dream. If you're hating what you're doing 70, 80 percent of the time and only enjoying it 20 percent of the time, something is wrong. Something's wrong. It's an indicator. You probably need to look at changing what you're doing and find something you can enjoy and put all your time and effort and love into it and it doesn't matter what happens around you you're gonna be happy most of the time right because you're enjoying what you're doing yeah. it's so key there's so much fear around it with people right yeah. so that's the biggest reason why people don't stop doing what they hate and start doing what they love mm -hmm. because they're afraid of it but all you have to do which is the hardest thing to do is you gotta have faith yeah. you have to trust right faith and trust that you just that feeling of you're all in you jump you jump you jump in and then you allow the love and passion you allow that just to be the driving force through every single action you continually dive into that the one example was of a gentleman who uh, loves rock climbing um, and and then suddenly converts a van into a living space 
and does that for a living because that's his passion and his drive. He's not part of the society, the society views of recognition and that you're working this type of job so that suddenly you feel gratification from community and trying right. to achieve a specific status. When you decide for yourself what your true love and passion is and just go full tilt no matter what, that's where you'll find achievement. Because in the end, you'll be happy and you'll feel fulfilled. Right, doing what you love, you will full, feel fulfilled. And you will make mistakes, you'll yeah. screw up, yeah. you'll have challenges. The key is to learn from those mistakes and keep going forward. And that's when you need that drive to keep going forward, to keep pushing through it, yeah. right? It's like, you love it, great. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tough, you're gonna screw up, people are gonna hate you for it, you know, you're gonna have challenges. Yes, that is life, that's part of it. You know, you have to get over that and that's where you know, if it's meaningful to you, that's when you need to harness that inner drive and passion to keep working through those hard times. Yeah. You know, don't give up just because someone tells you it sucks. It's like, if you love it, say, great, I'm, I appreciate you telling me that it sucks. Thank you. But I'm going forward anyway, yeah. without you, you know, without your opinion determining what I'm going to do. And if you do that, you will be successful, you will be happy, and you will be fulfilled no matter what's going on in your life. So anyway, this is, uh, has been a topic you know, so important to me because I've gone through this journey multiple times over and over again with huge projects reaching millions of people um, and have had to give up things that I thought were my life passion and, and realize that they weren't and move on to something else. And you know, that's just part of life. You have to, you have to go with that flow. Yeah. Anyway, we wanna hear your thoughts. We love to hear you know, what, maybe what's going on with you right now and how you, what kind of support you need to move through that challenge or what are the things that really inspire you that give you that drive and that passion, that love for what you wanna do and, and what do you need to do to move forward in that direction as quick as possible. So leave us your thoughts below. Always appreciate you tuning in, sharing the video, and subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you, everybody. See you in the next video. Take care. You must push through. Yeah. Don't give up. Ever. Never. Ever. Push through to the end. Yeah. Now. Do it. Go. Let's go. <laughs>